Everyone's talking about AI in the mainstream, but is AI really affecting and helping manufacturers and distributors? That's what I want to talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world with their digital transformation journeys. And most of our clients are in the manufacturing and distribution space. And within the manufacturing and distribution space and the ERP and enterprise technology space in general, we're hearing a lot about AI right now. Just about every software vendor, industry pundit, and tech leader out there is talking about AI and how great it is and all the great things it could do for the world. But what I want to know is how exactly is AI being used within manufacturing and distribution now and in the near future. So to find out, I talked to several of our clients and different software vendors in the manufacturing and distribution space to find out how AI is actually being used right now or in the very near future for some of these organizations. And that's what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. Before we dive too far into today's content, I wanna share a little bit of information about Third Stage Consulting and who we are. Third Stage Consulting Group is an independent technology agnostic provider of consulting services to help clients through their digital transformations. We help with digital strategy and software selection, as well as implementation planning. And during implementation, we provide services related to program management, organizational change, business process improvement, as well as enterprise architecture. These are just some of the services we provide. We have offices in North America, as well as Europe and Asia Pacific. So if you'd like to learn more, I encourage you to check out our resource center, which includes a number of resources that will help you through your digital transformation. And you can access that for free using the QR code here or the links below. You can also reach out to me directly if you'd like to discuss your digital transformation and brainstorm ideas on how to improve where you're headed on your journey. Now let's jump back into today's content. The first and most common way that we're seeing manufacturers and distributors use AI right now is through the use of chatbots, AI-based chatbots. And this is where essentially you've got a user interface that you're engaging with and talking to via text versus having to go to different menu systems or different screens or different systems to find the information you're looking for. So for example, if you wanna know how much inventory you have in your Boise, Idaho plant, you could type a question to the AI chatbot that says how much inventory do I have of this particular SKU or product within our Boise warehouse? And it would spit back a response to you and give you real time visibility into what exactly you have in inventory in that particular location. And there's a whole plethora of ways that you could be using AI chatbots, but that's one of the most common ways we're seeing manufacturing and distribution companies start to ease into AI. And one of the things I really like about chatbots is first of all, not only are people pretty comfortable with it or getting more comfortable with it because of ChatGPT and some of the consumer facing AI tools that are out there right now, but also because it's a way to leverage AI without necessarily having to replace all of your back office systems to get that competency. So you could have legacy systems, maybe even on-premise systems or homegrown systems that you could be building an AI chatbot on top of or leveraging an AI chatbot to gather the information you need and to give you the information you need via more of a conversational AI format. So AI chatbots are one of the most common ways, if not the most common way, the manufacturers and distribution companies are using AI right now. One of the most difficult parts of being a manufacturing and distribution organization is estimating what kind of demand your customers are going to expect from you. So in other words, having the right inventory at the right place at the right time without having too much inventory in the locations that you need them. And the beauty of AI now is that it can take mass amounts of data, look at your history, look at projected customer trends, look at macro data sets, and it can start to project what kind of demand it expects to see based on all the data that you've gathered as an organization. And the good news for manufacturing and distribution companies that have been around for a long time is you probably have mass amounts of data that AI models could use to help you predict demand more accurately going forward. And as you know, if you can predict demand accurately and in a timely fashion, that's going to allow you to optimize inventory and save money and generate more revenue longer term. So optimizing customer demand is one of the early use cases we're seeing with the use of AI within manufacturing and distribution. As we back up from customer demand and look at what we need to do to satisfy customer demand, one of the big things we have to do is obviously plan out our production. If we have an accurate customer demand model, now we can plan our production using AI models to figure out when we should be sourcing raw materials or components when we should be running certain products on the production line, 
when we need to have certain production runs completed. All those sorts of things can be optimized now through the use of AI because AI can take these mass amounts of data much more so than a spreadsheet or a human brain can handle and give us a better sense of when production should happen and how that production should happen. Another area that AI is helping manufacturers and distribution organizations is to optimize labor cost. For a lot of you watching, you're using temporary or hourly, maybe overtime resources. So every hour of labor that you're using costs you money, obviously. If you're able to optimize how you're deploying labor throughout your manufacturing and distribution facilities, that can be a material impact to your bottom line. And so what organizations are doing is that they're using their anticipated customer demand, their anticipated production schedules, it's all coming from AI now, and using that to further define how they can potentially be using labor and optimizing labor costs in their production processes. One client organization that I recently spoke to that's in the manufacturing space said that they used AI to help them go from 8% variation on their projected labor costs to less than 2% variation. So that's a six percentage point increase of optimization of labor costs. And for an organization that in this case was spending $10 million a week on labor costs, that six percentage point swing in accuracy for your labor costs can be very material. So this is one example of how organizations in manufacturing and distribution are using AI to optimize their labor costs throughout the production process. A lot of manufacturing and distribution organizations have complex supply chains, complex logistics networks involving shipments and containers and trucks and all different sorts of transportation to get their products from the manufacturing shop floor to the warehouse to the customer, and in some cases, getting them from overseas from another country. So when you have mass numbers of fleets and trucks and ships and shipments out there throughout your supply chain, any sort of optimization you can do is gonna come in handy. And the beauty of AI and the beauty of AI as it stands today is it's allowing organizations to better anticipate what their distribution and logistics network needs to look like and to optimize those distribution and logistics networks. It also allows you to make sure that you're optimizing routes as you're making shipments or deliveries. It can help save on fuel costs as well. So there's a lot of secondary advantages to using AI to help you better plan and optimize your distribution and logistics networks. Most manufacturing and distribution organizations are capital intensive. They have machines that break. They have machines that need repair. They have trucks that need repair. They have robotics and other manufacturing equipment, shop floor equipment that needs service and repair and sometimes breaks. And if you can anticipate when and how and where maintenance needs to happen, then that's going to save you time and money. It's going to save you a lot of issues that you might have with having production downtime because a machine breaks or not being able to ship a product because part of your fleet of trucks is inoperable. So if we can use all the data we have throughout our entire supply chain to really understand not only the demands and the pressures we're placing on our different capital assets, we can also start to anticipate when those capital assets might need attention, either maintenance, repair, or some sort of optimization. And that's where AI can help. It can help us anticipate better than humans can or better than an Excel spreadsheet on where and how and when we think we need to repair or service some sort of asset within our manufacturing and distribution network. If you're looking for more information on this topic, I encourage you to download our guide to supply chain management. This is a great free guide you can get on our website that tells you more about how you can optimize your supply chain using modern technologies. You can read that by scanning the QR code in front of you or you can go to the links below. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day. But how is it affecting, say that again, I don't like that. So AI chatbots is, as for the moment, or, wow, that was a very awkward yeah, grammar, grammatically incorrect sentence. Another area I, whoa, yes, from another, from another country, did I say that? Okay, <laughs> let me just say that whole thing over. That whole thing is awkward. It's an underrated word. We don't say it enough. Operable. Hopefully it's a word. <laughs>